of India. India is extremely famous for its wide-ranging geological features. It is mainly composed of physiographic units. They are the Himalayan mountains, the Indo-Gangetic plains, the peninsula plateaus. The present physical structure of India is a result of a long geological process. It is assumed that long ago all the major land masses and continents were a part of one huge single land mass called Pangaea. This was a global supercontinent. This land mass probably got split into two parts by a sea called Tethys into northern Laurasia and southern Gondwana. Laurasia included Eurasia and North America whereas Gondwana was a single land mass that included India, Australia, South America, Africa and Antarctica. The Gondwana landmass which was still one piece of land was split into a number of pieces because of the conventional currents and continuous movement inside the Earth's crust. These pieces drifted in various directions in the form of plates. These plates are called tectonic plates. As the Gondwana landmass started splitting, the Indo-Australian plate drifted northwards. This northward drift resulted in the collision of the Indo-Australian plate with the much larger Eurasian plate. Due to the collision between the two landmasses, the sediments accumulated at the bottom of Tethys, which was a sea. These sediments got folded due to the stress in the crust. This led to the formation of the mountain system of Himalayas. The Himalayas are considered to be young fold mountains. It is an unstable zone because the land masses are still moving. But the movement is very slow and thus we cannot feel anything. As the Himalayan mountains lifted up, a depression was formed on the land between the Himalayas and the peninsula plateau. This depression gradually got filled with the deposits brought by the rivers flowing from the Himalayas in the north and the peninsula plateau in the south. Extensive alluvial deposits, that is, the material brought by the rivers when coming from the mountains, led to the formation of the northern plains of India. Did you know? that the height of the Himalayas is increasing due to continuous convergence. The Peninsula Plateau is one of the ancient and the most stable landmass on the Earth's surface. The plateau is made of with igneous and metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks are formed when the lava coming out of the volcano falls on the Earth's surface and then gradually cools down and solidifies. Due to this, the surface of the land becomes black, forming black soil. These soils are very fertile with lots of nutrients in it. On the other hand, metamorphic rocks are formed due to intense heat and pressure put on the surface over a long time. During the northward movement of the Indian subcontinent towards Eurasia, along with folding and faulting, many volcanic activities also took place. When these volcanic eruptions took place, the lava that came out of the earth fell on the Deccan Plateau, covering the whole area with it.
the northward movement of the Indo-Australian plate has led to the change in the location and the size of the Indian subcontinent over a million of years. India has practically all major physical features of the earth that is mountains, plains, deserts, plateaus and islands. Besides geological formations, a number of processes such as weathering, erosion and deposition have created and modified the relief that we see today. Did you know that the cooling and solidification of the crust of the Earth's surface was the first geological activity which happened in the Cambrian era, which is 600 million years ago.